Today we're gonna paint this beta fish. Blue color has red shade blue color, one is the green shade blue color. So I'm gonna think about the top of the fish over here, or half of the circle. So I'm gonna do that right a little bit over here, and that will be the fish over here, but I'm gonna take a look at the whole shape of the fish. So I want to take a look at whether or not this is what I want. If not, I can still change it. I'm going to use quite a bit of wet into wet and then wet on dry. I'm going to have the body over here, that body almost like a halfway from here, from the, the end over here to here, halfway, right? This is the, you always can measure it. Everything is measurable. I'm going to have it like that. This is good. Right over here, this is the body of the fish. Next, I'm going to show you how to start the painting. You know I only use the primary pinks. Red, yellow, and the two different blues. One is with the green shade, and the other is with the red shade. Actually, I want to share an exciting news with you. I have been making my own watercolor pinks. They will be our own professional pinks that will give the best support for the techniques and the brushes that we use. While I was designing the labels, I wanted to bring my Adobe Illustrator skills up to date. So I turned to Skillshare. While I was there, I found more than 2,400 classes that offered to learn Illustrator. These classes range from how to craft fun everyday objects to animated icons and logo design with basically everything from beginners to advanced levels. I personally really like the Adobe Illustrator advanced training class with Danielle Scott. His in-depth, easy to follow teaching really helped me become familiar with the latest features of the application. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare has classes on a wide variety of topics, including illustration, graphic design, photography, UI, UX design, creative writing, animation, fine art, music, music production, film and video, marketing, productivity, freelance, and entrepreneurship, web development, craft, social media, and more. Right now, the first 500 people use the link in my video descriptions will get 30 days free and 40% of the first year of Skillshare membership. It's fun to be part of a community. Let's start painting. I'm gonna set a little bit light color, like especially the yellow, right? I'm gonna see the yellow color and Get the yellow, and think it's gonna have a little bit red, a little bit more like an orange color, and that's it. I'm gonna start add the color over here. Okay, some color over here, and those are a little bit lighter color. And I'm gonna have this a little bit more water into it. I also add a little bit more color, and so that is when I do the blue color, it will connect the color into together. Okay, and here you go. Get a little bit red, make it a little bit more like gold. Okay, here we go. That's good. And have a little bit over here. Okay, like that. Very good. A little bit over here too. Got a little bit yellow color down over here. I'll take a look at. And I'll be aware the color getting drier and drier already. So you need to do a little bit quicker. Okay, okay, like that. That's good. Okay, that's good. Coming over here, the the fin, uh, the fin, right over here. This is good, and a little bit over here on this side. Okay, all right. This is pretty good. Now I'm gonna have the blue color, and get the bright blue color. Okay, I'm gonna take that right in the middle over here. That's a little bit brighter. Okay, and take a look at this blue color. This is the red shade blue color. Actually, a little bit even brighter right for this purpose now I'm going to start putting that color right over here okay don't think about the details at the beginning so always think about the just think about the larger area 
I'm going to have this and connect that together. You see that the wet into wet, that making it very interesting. And coming over here like that, and take a look at that's the color merged together, and also have a little bit more blue color on this side over here. Just tap on it like this. That's pretty good. And I'm gonna first going through a little bit more of this blue color. Keep going, and on that, and coming over here, have a little bit more blue color around. So those is going to be looks very integrated, and between those color and together. And here you go. Let me get a little bit more. So keep in mind this blue color is the red shade blue color. On this side, I'm going to have just a little bit. This is the green shade blue color. It's going to look a little bit different. And this is a little bit more. Okay, coming back over here. And this is very watery. I'm going to keep using the red shade blue color. Now come to the head. Now I'm going to stop. I'm going to have that a little bit lighter. Okay, this here you go. Like that. And coming in here. And have this color floating out over here. Also have some light shape. So I'm going to see this. And this is have a little bit light shape. This is at the thin a little bit lighter. Right, like this. Okay, here we go. And a couple more. That's good. And the fin and the and the and the here started from the little bit blue color, and then coming up, that's a little bit lighter, but also a little bit greenish color. So I'm gonna have a little bit more yellow. Mix that with the little bit. Okay, that become a little bit more green. So this is good. If I want it to be lighter, just light it up a little bit, and that's good. Like that. Now I'm going to have a little bit darker color, right over here. Now see over here. Now I'm going to have this and coming out. And this is pretty wet, but I use a very, very thick color, so it's remain to be dark, right? This is good. I'm going to have some color, it's a little bit, little bit detail coming over here, a little detail. And take a look at over here, have a little bit dark color, a little bit detail coming up. Now also going to have that little bit darker on the body over here. So make it look more as three dimensional, get a little bit more blue right over here. So now you can see that that's that become three dimensional. Now I'm going to have the little bit darker right here. We got a little bit blue. Now I'm going to take a look at the head over here. Okay, this is still very wet. We're going to come back to do that. And as well as the eye. Take a look at here. And doing that. And have that. Be careful, this is not really too dark. So you don't need to use a very dark color. Right. Now you can do that. One is uh, still a little wet. This is fine. I get that. See that? That's pretty good. And I'm going to use a little bit darker, like this. So it will be a little bit darker already. Take a look at the shape. Okay, a little bit darker. And all I have three colors. And I have a little bit color coming through. You see that following the direction, like that. And this is good have that direction and here you go and a little bit shape over here too seeing that that shadow so when you're looking for um, the information you're just looking at what's a darker lighter okay I'm gonna have that over here here you go just put it down like it's from a little bit thinner to get a little bit thicker and then thinner again like that and I'm going to have a little bit darker. And I'm just have the red and the blue color and have the yellow. And you can get uh, a little bit darker brown color. Okay, that's good. Okay, right here. One, two, three. That's good. And a couple more over here. Okay, this is good. I'm going to have that maybe a little bit lighter. I got a little bit more yellow color. 
and get a little bit yellow. That's good. I'm gonna take a look at the bottom over here. We can see there's I need a little bit more shape. Going through over here like that. That's pretty good. And you can do this when it's wet into wet. And you can do this after you dry. That should be fine. And now it's a little bit dark color on the side over here. And now take a look at over here. Now give a little suggestion of the fin. So this is pretty good. Now I'm going to come back and you see a little bit purple in this color. So I have a little bit tiny purple color. You can see that on the face. So I'm going to put that a little bit purple color on the face. Okay, that's good. This is called overlay uh, applying the color on top of the color that already dried. Right. Now I'm going to continue with this. Now this is ready over here. I'm going to put this from, this is the side of the fish. Now I'm going to have it tap, tap, tap. Okay, that's suggested. That is the bottom of the fish over here. Now I'm going to have this coming the direction, coming like this way. Okay, here you go. Now I have something coming down over here. I'm going to have a little bit darker. Coming down over here. A little bit darker line. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's pretty good. Like that and coming over and but not all the lines are very dark okay some of the line is very very soft so now i'm going to actually also use this to give a little suggestions of the scale over here like that and just tap on it you see the little light and shadow okay here you go tap on it tap on it and the top over here that's the shadow side and down over here and tap on it that's good Okay, that's good. That's a little suggestions of the scale. And I'm gonna have this a little bit also a little bit darker, softer, like that. That's pretty good. And I'm gonna come to the top over here and have it from here out and following the direction of the, the movement. Okay, here you go. Like that. That's pretty good. I can add a little bit darker in here when it's wet into wet. You see that? That's a little bit wet. That's just good. Now I'm gonna have that a little bit over here. Twist it. That's pretty good. And a little bit over here too. I'm gonna make it a little bit more clear. Like that. That's pretty good. Okay, up over there, I can make it even a little bit more clear. Okay, okay, I'm going to continue, and those are pretty easy. Just use the brush and clean it up. Now let's take a look at right here. I'm going to have a some mark, continue over here. Now, let's just put the line over here. So don't worry about it. Just put the line first, and we're going to soften the color. Okay, coming over here, see the direction of that coming this way. And you can put a little bit more shadow. So you see the light and shadow, light and shadow. It will look pretty good. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's good. And I'm going to add a little bit more detail on this side. Now coming back over here, I'm going to just use the water. You see, lead the color off here from dark to a little bit lighter. Have that coming here. Here you go. Have a little bit of detail, but we don't have to do all the details, just enough to suggest it. Okay, now coming on to this side, that's good. Now I want to come to the face. Now first take a look at the eye. I'm going to use the blue color right inside the eye area because there's a bigger ring. The whole circle is a little bit like this. Leave the, mi the middle, it has a little white ring. Okay, like that, here you go. Put the color in and gradually you can modify it. This is good. And inside the eye, there's a little bit darker color. How to make it darker? Just the red and the blue color. And these two color, when it's thicker, it will look very, very dark. So I don't want to use much water. Okay, this is good. This is much darker. So here you go. 
I'm going to take a look at the inside over here. So be a little careful. We don't want to touch and eliminate the white. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, that's the fish eye. And this is a little bit darker. The bottom will be on the outside, also can be a little bit darker. Okay, this is good. I'm going to use this, make a little bit more clear shape. And we tried to do that, but that was too early, right? Too soon. So think about that. And have the bottom over here. And that's good. I'm going to have a little bit dark color over here too. And that's pretty good. Getting there, I'm going to do the mouth. So I'm going to just have a little bit. Uh, this good. The mouth open like that. So it's one line. Coming down here like this. And the lower chin like that. And I'm going to move it. That's good. That's adjusting the shadow. And now I'm going to also going to have a little bit shadow, a little bit tap over here. You don't have to make it like a very, very pattern and just make it a little bit dynamic. And that's just good. So somewhere a little bit thicker, somewhere a little bit thinner, right? And then here we go. That's pretty good almost there and coming over here and then I will use the blue color to do the suggestions of the scale and it will be done okay I'm gonna have this and just a little bit just doing it like this one at a time so you don't have to do all of them just give a little bit line a little bit line and then coming over here I'm gonna do a little bit like this okay analyze that how the scale look i'm gonna just give it a little suggestion that good enough all right now i'm going to add a little big shape over here too i'm going to make that look like this the shadow okay here we go and then if you want to, you can come back over here to start lifting some of the color, make it a little bit lighter. So I'm going to show it to you. And over here, I'm going to lift that, make that just a little bit lighter. So make it feel like a translucent. You see that? Now get a little bit lighter. All right. Now over here too, and you can light up the color over here. Like that. And the outside of the space, you feel free to just add a little bit blue color. Maybe just put it right at the front over here. So you can see that the light shape of the head of the fish. Okay, just use a lot more water like that. So now you can see. Okay. And okay, a little bit lighter. When it's still wet, you can also do a little brushing, so that the those will become more textured. Okay, now this fish is finished.